This has been an amazing project where we've worked with so many fantastic, enthusiastic people. We've had our core group, we've had community champions, we've had a wider group of interested volunteers where we've all learned at different levels. So our core team has been picking up more specific skills around the detail of the modular construction. Our community champions have started learning around the understanding of what a house takes to be built. And then our wider group of volunteers have been coming in with whatever previous experience they've got and honing maybe their tool skills or understanding sustainable construction. Sustainability is absolutely central to our ethos and has been from the beginning. We're very committed to finding ways that people can work together to reduce the impact of climate change, but also looking at the toxicity of materials, the health impacts of materials, and a home that is comfortable, low impact on the environment, and that you can afford to live in. Some of it has been uh, putting in place procurement strategies and the charter for SNUG. Companies are beginning to recognise that they need to have certain statements. So you might see a lot more like modern slavery statements on their website. There might be an environmental declaration and then others will have a full strategy, they'll have sustainability reporting. But there's also a balance because we're also trying to use local companies and support local economy. And some of those smaller firms are like at the back end of putting those systems in place. So again, it's like creating that kind of conversation and going, we want to work with you, but we see that you don't have these things that we're really looking for. Like, is that a thing that you're looking to do in the future? In which case we can kind of work with you for now because um, it is difficult, it's a transition time. There are some hard and fast rules like no rainforest products. So when you're just ordering a bit of ply and it doesn't need to be of any particular amazing spec, there'd be like an automatic, oh, let's go for like shuttering ply. But as soon as you start looking into that, you understand where, where those timbers are coming from. Then you have to just make a total switch and go, we don't use this product. We always ask this question and then we have a preferred range that we're building up. If we're demanding more environmental and technical information that may not just be the usual part and parcel of a product, they'll recognise that it's going to be a thing that more people are asking for in the future. I've just produced a document around all the kitchen and bathroom appliances and fixtures. And so that was like a really deep dive into the companies, how they declare using guidance like Greenspec or Ethical Consumer. So they have a lot of information about companies that are tax avoiding. So you can just start to build up some like names that you want to avoid in terms of like the brands. Something we're very excited about is the potential that we have to work with community groups to help them design their own schemes that will support a sense of community among the residents living on the site. So perhaps having shared gardens instead of just private gardens and other shared amenities. Snug really hold the wellness of the whole team very well, especially in terms of all learning together, not just about building, although that is key, but also in terms of like social justice issues, progressive work ideals. I definitely feel like it's an atmosphere where we can bring any problems and find solutions together, whatever they are, whether they're a problem with, I don't know how to do this thing, or whether I feel uncomfortable because of this thing, like let's address that as well. The homes are fully robust, super insulated airtight, and will have gone through all the conventional routes of building regulations and planning for the house to be in that place. We try and unblock some of those hurdles, but without losing the creative essence for the future resident to be involved in. So working with whoever the resident or the client is, we will then look at the design and the size of the windows, the, the budget they've got, looking at what sort of cladding or internal finishes, and looking at how much they, the resident wants to be involved in the process. So whether the resident comes and gets involved with us during the construction of the main modules, or whether they then come in at the end and fit kitchens and flooring, or whether they just come and do decorating. The idea is so you can have a super low energy home that will have low fuel bills and will be comfortable for people to address the changing environment relating to climate change and the economic changes that are happening in terms of finances and things. So taking the idea of having an ecological home down to, to accessibility to, to, to everybody.